Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are going to cover real-time time stretching. Now, if you're a user of MPC 2.0, you'll notice that this is a new feature that they added, which, just like the name suggests, allows you to do time stretching in real time via the warping feature they've added. So, if you look at my screen, you'll see I have an audio track loaded up. I'll play it just so we know what it sounds like. <laughs> Now, as you can see, I only have two bars of that loop loaded up. I can extend it out later so that you can hear the full thing, but for now, that'll work. So, we have our audio track loaded up. Let's go ahead and play around with it a bit. We have it selected, and if you want to select an audio track, all you have to do is just click on it, because sometimes when you have multiple clips loaded up, NPC doesn't know which one you're trying to edit, so you may start toggling with the warp feature, but nothing will happen. So. I'm going to make sure I'm not on my scissors tool because that's going to split the audio track. And I'm switching to my selector tool up here. Or excuse me, the pointer as it's called. All right, and I clicked on my audio track just to make sure that MPC knew that that's the audio region that I want to mess with. And to just unclutter my screen, I'm going to get rid of the browser. Great, so the loop isn't exactly eight bars, but I wanted to extend out the whole thing. It's a little less than seven, that shouldn't matter. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start messing with the real time time stretch. So just to refresh your memory, this is what the loop sounds like. Great, now, what you have to do is you have to go up to the toolbar and click the warp button. So follow my mouse and click warp. So with that feature on, now you can mess with the semitones and you can mess with the BPM of this particular sample. So you can make it faster or slower in real time or you can pitch it up or pitch it down in real time. Let's go ahead and explore that. So notice as I'm playing around with that audio track, as I move the BPM, anytime I replayed the track, it would slow down or speed up as I adjusted the BPM. You can also do the same from the left side of the screen too, and it all happens in real time. For example, let's try it again. Now, notice as I messed with the BPM right under sequence one, it really stretched that audio out in real time. Every time I slowed it down, the audio slowed down. Every time I sped it up, the audio, audio went faster too. Now, let's go ahead and try that with semitones as well. If we'll go back up next to warp, you'll see semi. And if you noticed, it worked the same with fine too, which is right next to semi. So as you can see, this is pretty much how real time stretching works. This is just a surface level tutorial. We'll go more in depth in our second one, but we just wanted to give you the basics for this first one. And that about covers it. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. We'll see you next week. Peace.